Hi, I'm Adam DeSanctis. Welcome to MBA Now. I'm here today with Dave Coleman, MISMO's new president. Dave is here to talk about his career, what brought him to MISMO, and some of the top initiatives members can expect in the months ahead. Dave, thank you for being here. Good to be here. Thank you. So tell our audience a little bit about your background and uh, what brought you to be um, MISMO's new president. Uh, first, I'm excited to be here. So it's, uh, it, you know, it's a long time coming. I've been in the industry for you know, well over 30 years and very early on in my career. Um, I started working closely with, uh, with the MBA and, and the predecessor to, to MISVO. Uh, eventually sat on the MISNO governance board. And, you know, so this is almost like coming full circle in my career. So where I started off, I'm, I'm able to come back and, and continue. So, you know, really excited to, uh, to, to step into this role now. And we're very happy to have you here. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about what's ahead for MISMO. Technology and innovation are two key themes um, for MISMO and the team. Uh, what do you expect in the months ahead and advancing on those two fronts? You know, we, um, at any point in time, we have 30, 35 different communities of practice that are working on various projects. Um, so as you can imagine, that, that's, that's, a, that's a large you know, number, of, number of initiatives at any time. Um, going forward, we'll continue to uh, focus on um, our data standards as we always have, but at the same time, you know, we're moving into other areas that are you know, very exciting for, for us and then very helpful for the industry. A um, perfect example is we're working with, we started a group now that's looking at servicing standard, I mean servicing transfer standards and you know, the overall processes and, and, and you know, being able to transfer loans between servicers, which is, you know, you wouldn't necessarily think about that as a, as, a, as a data standard, but it is a standard where you're trying to align the processes for, um, you know, how lenders do business. So it's, uh, you know, it's exciting to step into, you know, being more impactful to the industry. You mentioned the work groups and the communities of practice. That's really where a lot of the work gets done. What are you looking forward to the most in the months ahead? Um, you know, that's, that's a good question. We have just released the, the latest reference model for data, which is, um, is creates the, a new foundation for upgrading and refreshing uh, transactions because, as you well know, a lot changes in the industry in just a, just a year. So we are working on um, new standards as it relates to uh, the, the changes in credit. Uh, we've been working in other areas where we're working on API toolkits that you know, allow service providers and lenders and whoever else to you know, as we call it, flatten the transaction. In other words, create small transactions that can be used, you know, via um, you know cons consumer-based applications or, or websites or whatnot. So, you know, those are just a few. But we've got, you know, at any time we've got 30 to 35 initiatives underway. There's a lot of important work to be done, and of course, none of that would be possible without the innovation investment fee. Why is it so important that the industry commit to that? That's a great question. Um, you know, I, I don't think most people realize that there's not a mortgage that gets originated today in the industry that does not leverage some piece of uh, knowledge, technology, data that was developed by MISMO. Uh, as such, you know, MISMO requires the support of the industry to continue to provide, um, you know, the standards and tools and, and, and processes to the industry. And, you know, thankfully, we have uh, we had over 1,600 lenders, MBA members, um, contribute via an investment fee to MISMO to allow us to continue to do this work and to to take on things that are important to you know the the members of the industry. So you know it, we just couldn't I couldn't operate at the scale that we're operating without that support. Dave, I've really enjoyed this conversation and getting to know you. Um, do you have any other final thoughts or things you'd like to share with our audience before we end? Yeah, actually, I would, uh, I'd like to invite everyone listening to join us in Portland, uh, Oregon, not Maine, uh, June 5th through 8th for the summit. And there you'll get the opportunity. We've got some special sessions running around you know, the, the new credit scores uh, topics that are coming out, as well as some other working groups that uh, I think will be of interest to you know, most of the audience. So thank that's you. great. And I'm actually I moved to D.C. from Portland, Maine. I haven't been to Portland, Oregon. But both are very <laughs> nice in, in June. So we certainly hope that, you know, yeah. members will um, head to Portland, Oregon in June. Dave, thank you again. Yep. Thank you for having me.